What's up guys, you already know who it is, well, probably, and welcome back to part 2 of the Fairy Tale Cottage tutorial. In this video we'll be building the inside of the house that we built in the last video. As you can see here we have all of our floors and walls in place already, so we're basically just decorating. So let's get started in this entryway room, right when you walk in the front door with a carpet, and it'll basically cover this whole lower floor, except for the corners. We're going to build this out of red carpet and red wool, and I'll use a mixture of both to add some texture. The only thing is that these two blocks right here have to be wool so that we can place a table on top. Next let's add a railing to divide off our upper level, so we'll just place a fence post and then two fence gates. Directly above the fence post we'll just place a lantern. I'll make a little decoration above the store using three item frames, then a redstone lamp in each one and rotate that one time, then we'll place three signs over the item frames. Don't ask me what this is supposed to be, I just thought it looked cool. And then we'll place a tripwire hook next to the door as a coat hanger. After that we can just repeat our decoration on the other door. Next to our front door I'll place an armor stand. And then right here I'll place two scaffolding as a table. And this one let's place a flower pot and a lantern on the other. Then above that I'm going to place a painting. Let's use some placeholder blocks to get a 1x2, and let's see if we can get my favorite mountain painting. Nice, first try. Going up to this upper floor, let's start with a crafting table in the corner, with a lantern on it. Here I'm going to make a couch using crimson stairs, and a crimson sign on each end. Right here I'm going to break these two blocks, then dig down one more, place two redstone blocks there and then two pistons on top to make a table. Right here I'm going to place an item frame with a book in it and a pot next to it. Here let's go with a 1x2 painting, so we'll use some placeholder blocks. And let's get the other painting. That one. Let's go back over to our kitchen now. In this little entryway we're going to make a wooden arch. So let's start with two stairs at the top and then two trap doors on each side. Now inside the kitchen, let's start with a little table right here. So a spruce there on each side, a fence post, and then we'll place a pressure plate on top, but first let's place a painting, just a one by one. Now let's put our pressure plate on that fence post. On each of our two beams overhead, let's place a lantern. And then underneath our window, let's place three furnaces and three blast furnaces, and then three fence gates on top. Here I'm gonna place two barrels as a little counter, and on the other side I'll make a table using two stairs and a slab in between. Above that let's make a shelf using two trap doors at the top of this block. On our two barrels let's place an oak pressure plate here, and a flower pot next to it. A cake on this table, and then a pot with a bamboo. On the shelf up here let's place two flower pots. In one I'll place an oak sapling and in the other a fern. And that's it for our kitchen. Let's go through this door here out to the porch. And on this porch I'm going to start with a bench, using two oak stairs and an oak sign on each side. And I'll also place two oak signs above it as a headboard. Over here I'm going to place two scaffolding as a table. Lantern on one and then a flower pot on the other with a birch sapling. Let's head back inside now and decorate our bedroom. Let's start with some bookshelves in this shape. Place one barrel here and then a double chest on top of our bookshelves. Let's place a double bed and then a lectern next to it with a book and quill. On top of our barrel let's place a flower pot and a lantern hanging from our beam. Next let's make a parrot cage starting with a chain. Skip one block and then place a birch trap door at the bottom. We're going to place a scaffolding there but first let's get our parrot in there. I'm going to surround this space with some blocks so that the parrot doesn't fly away. So let's just put our parrot in there and tame it with some seeds. Make it sit and then I can break these blocks. And we'll just place a scaffolding right there. In this corner let's put in an armor stand. Then we'll need some paintings. Let's 
play some placeholder blocks so we can get a one tall, two wide here. Then a one wide, two tall here. So I need some placeholder blocks and I'll need to break this armor stand. There we go. Now let's put our armor stand back. And there we go, that's it for our bedroom. Next, let's decorate our second porch out this door right here. We'll start by making a table. So place a full block right here, a slab, then one slab, and then an upside down stair. I'm gonna place a lantern on each of these two fence posts. Then we'll place a flower pot in these three spots. Item frame right here with a wooden shovel. And let's place some ferns and flowers and stuff in these pots. On this side, let's start with a spruce stair, scaffolding next to it. This will be our doggy door, so let's break that block. And we'll have an oak trap door there, but let's place it from the inside. So go inside and then break this one block here so you can place the trap door on the roof. So it'll open like this. Let's put our spruce plank back. Then here we're going to make some shelves using spruce trap doors. Let's place one on that oak trap door and then one up and to the left. We'll place a flower pot on our scaffolding and both those trap door shelves. Then just put some flowers or saplings in those pots. Alright, so this room at the base of the tower will be for the dogs. I'm going to go with the blue theme. So let's start with three cyan carpet. Warp fence in the middle, two of them. Then let's place a warp trap door right here and here with a stair above it. Then I'll put the slab on the stair and then a full block in the center. Then I'll have a flower pot on each side and a composter in the center. Place your dogs in there. And let's fill up our composter food bowl. Oops, too far. There we go. And now for some light, let's just place a torch on each side. This room on the second floor will be a study. So let's start with some bookshelves. And here we'll place a lectern with a book in it. And then let's make a chair using an oak stair and an oak sign. On this bookshelf here, we'll place a flower pot and a lantern on the taller one. Up here on top of our tower, let's start by making a table. So right behind the trap door here, we'll use two upside down stairs and a slab in between. Let's place a flower pot on one side and a lantern on the other and an oak pressure plate in the middle. And let's also place another lantern hanging from the ceiling. Let's make a table by placing an oak fence post. Surround that with oak stairs. Then we'll place an oak pressure plate on top of that fence post. So here's how it looks from outside. And then let's go downstairs back to the second level. And go through this door here. This big open space here in the attic will be our main kind of survival area. So let's start by cleaning up the roof with using some upside down stairs. It's kind of dark now, so I'll give myself some night vision. And then I'm going to texture the roof with granite, just like we did on the outside. And now we can start decorating. So this area here next to the door will be our enchanting area. So I'll start with some bookshelves just along this wall in an L shape, place an enchanting table in the center, let's build it up another level. In these three blocks up here, let's place barrels. And this should be enough to get level 30 enchantments, so let's just check it really quick. And finally, let's just place a lantern above the enchanting table. Here, let's place a grindstone. Then over here, we're gonna have a ton of chests, so let's start with a double chest, another double chest, then a smithing table with a lantern and two more double chests. 
And the other side will also have double chests, so placing in towards the room. So let's go three double chests. And then a crafting table. And an anvil. And then three more double chests. And here we'll have a barrel. And then a crafting table with a lantern. Alright, and now this last room here will be sort of a library. Let's start by cleaning up the roof. Just three full blocks. And then some stairs. Now down here on the left wall, we'll build bookshelves up three blocks high. And on the wall across from the doors, we'll build them up four blocks high. And if you want, you can place a couple of looms to look like empty bookshelves. Next, let's place a couple of ladders so we can reach the top shelves. A lectern here with a book in it. And on top of our bookshelves, let's place trapdoors. And finally, on the ceiling, we'll take some chains, one on each side and two in the center. Then place a lantern on each chain. And that's it for this build, guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll just go around the house really quick in case you need to see anything again.